Today we're making some roasted carrots in the oven, and if you've never had roasted carrots before, you've got to try this. You know, that the flavors are just so much enhanced because roasting them just brings out all their sweetness and it caramelizes them, and the flavor is just way better. I'm gonna season these up with some olive oil and some fresh herbs and some lemon zest, which really brings out their flavor. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so I'd like to start off here with chef joke number one, and we'll have number two a little bit later. Here we go. Did you hear about the carrot detective? He got to the root of every case. So for our recipe today, I'm using tri-colored carrots, but you can use regular carrots if you want. Uh, these are just plain cute. So I bought these at the farmer's market, and they are organic. I'm going to twist off the greens, and then I'm going to place these in a colander and give them a good scrub under some water. My carrots have some stringy stuff on them, so I'm going to peel them before chopping them. And by the way, you can save those peels and use those in a smoothie, soups, salads, or sauces. Just place them in a Ziploc bag and toss them in your freezer. So I'm going to start by cutting off both ends of the carrots. And then I'll cut the carrots on the diagonal just because it looks pretty. And uh, try and get them as uniform in size as you can so they'll cook up evenly. And we'll place our carrots in a bowl. So to season this up, we're going to keep it simple. I'm using some fresh thyme here. Just peel off some of the petals until you have about a tablespoon or so, maybe a little less and chop it up. I like to get it nice and fine. If you're not a fan of thyme, you could always use fresh rosemary instead if you'd like. We'll sprinkle that thyme over the carrots and add some olive oil, about two to three tablespoons. And of course, we'll season it up with a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to add some lemon zest to this. It adds a little brightness to the recipe. So what I have here is a jar of frozen lemon zest that I've zested from uh, just a bunch of lemons. And it's a great way to store it and you always have it on hand. So I'll add a nice little pinch of that. Give this a nice toss to distribute all the spices and the zest. We're going to place this on a parchment paper covered baking sheet. Try not to overcrowd your pan and get these into a single layer. Space them out so that they roast and they don't steam. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to place it in the oven for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I'm going to lower the temperature to 375 and cook them until they're fork tender. You know, that'll be another 8 to 15 minutes. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. How do you make gold soup? You put 24 carrots in it. <laughs> now back to our carrots. Here's what they look like after 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I tested them with a fork and they're a little bit fork tender, but they definitely need to go longer to get more caramelized. So we'll drop the temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for another 15 minutes. Here's our roasted carrots and they look amazing. All right, I'm going to serve some of these up on a plate and we're going to garnish them up with some nice fresh parsley. So one of the easiest ways to cut up your parsley is to basically shave it off of the stems and you get less stems that way and then just chop it up. So go ahead and sprinkle a little parsley over the top and there you have it. And make sure to use parchment paper or even foil for easy cleanup. You're going to love that. And now I get to try these out. Roasting the carrots just takes them to another flavor level. They're sweet, savory, and you just want to keep eating them. If you want to get more veggies in your diet and you want a super easy recipe that's fast to make, then you've got to try my pan-grilled artichoke hearts that are seasoned with garlic and feta cheese. Click the link on the screen and make it tonight. If you enjoyed today's video, you can let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment down below. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, of course, we'd love to have you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll know when my new videos come out every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.